Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're back and we are doing the downfall of TikTok's worst content creator, that vegan teacher. So, I have heard of that vegan teacher before. This crazy lady or whatever. She's clearly vegan and she just hates on a lot of other TikTok or something like that. I'm not, I'm not deep on what she does. I don't really pay, I haven't really paid attention. And I want to know the story. So, let's get into this. Uh, we got some Harbo Mini Rainbow Frogs. Bruh, these Rainbow Frogs, I actually haven't tried them yet. But they're usually like the normal, like, like, they're not mini. They're like actual decent size. And they're like the green frogs. Which it looks like the green frogs are usually strawberry flavor. But they're like this. But they're like way bigger. And then they have, dude, these are so good. But I never had a rainbow kind before. So I'm just going to be munching on these and watching it. So let's get into this video. Like I said, I don't really know. I just know like she hates on like a lot of TikTokers. Don't really know the downfall or none. So let's get into it. Welcome to class, everybody. And especially to you, Nikocado Avocado. Your channel has become boring, extremely cruel, and sick in the head. It's important to eat your cruciferous vegetables every day. Pack them in. Put them in your smoothies. You know, sprout little beans. This! Yes. Oh! Cruciferous vegetables, which are high in oxalates and anti-nutrients, and you're telling people to put them in smoothies. Who are you, lady? Don't even do a morsel of research on the people that you're supposedly making videos about. I was probably vegan longer than you've been vegan. Well, actually, no, you've probably been doing it a long time. Look at you with oh, the black was, teeth. That's right, he was vegan before. Nick Cotto, Cotto, before he got fat. And out of your face. <sighs> Class is insane. Yo, is he still alive? Cause I did hear something about how he's not even posting videos anymore. Session vegans, let's say our ABCs together. C is for chicken. C is for collagen, which your body requires for proper skin, hair, and brain health. C is for chicken, lady. Mmm. 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 Now, let's take a trip down memory lane. It's 2020, and throughout the pandemic and lockdown, you get bored with YouTube and other social media apps, and you download the app that you said was cringy and that you never download or open. But before your very eyes, you start to get addicted to TikTok, and you stumble across an account called That Vegan Teacher, an account that uploads TikTok videos talking about veganism and animal rights. At surface level, it seems like this account is great with spreading awareness towards their moral obligation to defend animals. But what you didn't know was a massive amount of controversy that comes with her name. From arguing defend animals. But what you did bridge that vegan t shirt just ended her career. That vegan teacher career didn't know was a massive amount of controversy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? That vegan teacher, her dog? I'm not I'm actually sure I'm allowed to say that now on YouTube since that is like that. Yo. What's going on, bro? Hold up, hold up. Controversy that comes hold with up, her name. Up. From arguing with a plethora of online content creators to arguing with renowned chefs. Katie Karen was here to state or claim that these content creators and world renowned chefs were vegan phobic. Her fight to quote convert these content creators to turn vegan would eventually see her get banned off of TikTok in 2021 after making multiple sexual remarks to an She's underage sorry. content creator by the name of Tony on? in it. But more on that later on in the video. Today we're gonna take a deep dive into the insane mind of Katie Karen, aka that vegan teacher. Strap in because there's a laundry list of content creators, companies, and even celebrities that she had controversies with. Katie Karen was born on September 20. Whoa, what's going on here? Fortnite Predator. Whoa, does this name sound familiar? Ooh, Nika Kata Atacaba. Yo, maybe. Ooh, he has some good videos. Shout out to Bills, by the way. He has like 100k. Like Buffalo Bills, Bills, type it in, you'll find him. 24th, 1964 in Montreal, Canada. 
She would eventually pursue a career in nursing for 25 years, and alongside her nursing, she would end up attending Concordia University in Canada to become an English teacher for students who don't use English as their first language. Eventually, Katie would end up stepping away from her job as a registered nurse to work full-time as an ESL teacher. But when the pandemic hit, she would eventually leave her job as an English teacher as well to focus on her new online career on YouTube and TikTok. That vegan teacher was formerly known as Miss Karen English Teacher on YouTube. Once she Miss Karen is here. The bell song to the basement of the school. Hey yo, what's going on? The basement of the school. Hey yo. Yo, what is going on? The basement of the school. Some kind of created her first account in 2012. On this channel, she would sing her lessons to help her students remember her teachings. But okay. this channel wouldn't really gain much attention. In its nine-year lifespan, Miss Karen English Teacher would only receive 23,000 subscribers with 2 million views, which is impressive to say yeah. the least. But in time, Katie Karen would eventually create her now well-known channel called That Vegan Teacher. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, she wanted views bad. First video, are you racist? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't breathe? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently... I Kyled somebody. Whoa. Can't get demonetized. Yo, she's going at the Coco Melon. What's going on? In July of 2018, with the premise to spread her knowledge of veganism through singing and composing music. Bella, how you gonna make your dog vegan? Yo, you're making your dog vegan? Apparently, I apparently I've been arrested. Fox News. Okay, buddy. Coco Melon again. That contains information regarding the abuse towards animals. At one point in the channel's lifespan, she was a very positive way to learn about becoming vegan, but eventually that would all change once she started her first TikTok account in 2020, when she was first introduced to the app by a friend at work. Now, since her first TikTok account was banned, it's hard to pinpoint the exact date or month that Katie started posting on TikTok, but the bulk of her controversies would reside. in late 2020 and early 2021. That vegan teacher would release this song called I Can't Breathe in June of 2020, just a couple weeks after police killed George Floyd. This was an issue for many, including myself. This was Katie Karen trying to capitalize off of a death of somebody else and use that to push- All right, I found the video right here. It's called I Can't Breathe. You've sealed your rope around my neck I can't breathe I am a pig thrown in this gas chamber Pleading for my freedom I can't breathe I am a chicken upside down Your knife is sliced inside my windpipe I can't breathe I think you guys didn't know what I'm gonna look up. Hold up. Sorry. Alright, so this came out about a month after. The I am a lamb torn from my mother. Your hands are clenched, squeezing my throat. I can't breathe. Dude, nah, she's racist. You can't get this a whole different title. All Life Matters. Oh, Lord. If you've ever accidentally deleted files, that's not happening. We're not getting that.
In her description of that video, she states, All lives matter to those who live them. Help everyone to keep breathing, not just the ones in your own personal group. If you are not vegan, then by default, you are for animal abuse. This was wrong on many different levels, but this was only the start of her many controversies. During the summer of 2020, Katie Kern would upload this video to TikTok of her singing outside of a McDonald's, telling them that they should offer an all-exclusive vegan menu. Three, two, one, sing! Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. This would be the video that would blow up and bring more traction to her TikTok account, showing that Katie Karen would do just about anything to get her point across about veganism. In September of 2020, that vegan teacher would upload this video. Hi everyone. Before becoming a teacher, a school teacher, I worked as a nurse for 25 years. And I always talked about the importance of signing our organ donor cards. But this year, for the first time in my life, I have decided not to sign it. And here's why. I realize how despicable society is, how many evil people are out there, especially since coming to TikTok even more so. And I've decided that there's no way on earth that I want any of you to ever get my organs if I die. The only whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't gonna even lie. I already know what she was talking about, signing some paper. Hey, yo. She just called a human to try to see she said you are not taking my organs. Hey yo, what's going on? Ever want would be vegan animal rights activists because I will give those organs to those people and I know they will not be murdering animals to put into that body that would have been saved. The rest of you will just continue to live and keep murdering animals. So I just wanted to let you know that it's really disappointing, but it's come to this. Katie stated that Hey yo, she's like She's like, this. she's like, gosh, I'm, I'm so sad, but sadly, I'm not signing the papers to give away my organs. Only to some of you vegans and um, and yeah, guys. I'm, just, I'm at this point. I have to, I have to do this, but yeah. <laughs> just slowly turning it, just keeping her head going with her phone. That she wouldn't give her organs to people that need them because they would end up eating animals and that they didn't deserve them. Keep in mind, at one point, nursing was a big part of Katie's life. This was, of course, a small controversy and wasn't as big of an issue as every other situation that comes up in the future, but it was the start of Katie Karen's madness on TikTok outside of the McDonald's video. Just a couple weeks after this incident, Katie would end up duetting a TikTok video by Tommy in it, where he is surrounded by girls and jokingly looks nervous. She would tell Tommy to follow that meat teacher miss tofu and then ends the duet by winking at tommy i'm at college and surrounded by women don't be scared tommy just follow that meat teacher miss tofu she'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do this was pretty weird she would follow up this video by calling out tommy and its fans for stitching that was so ugly dude that was so bad going crazy towards their interaction fans what the fuck is the matter with you guys you're losing your minds i saw some of the duets that you guys did to that little 15 second video i did for him you know the one where i was just trying to encourage him to become vegan what the fuck are you guys doing some of you are crying some of you are punching the camera going fucking crazy you're like fuck off stay away from tommy you know, he's at college. I'm a teacher. I'm allowed to talk to him. You know what you should be crying about? The rape, the torture, and the murder on all of your plates. You've never been through any wars. You've never suffered. You have no fucking idea about the world. If that's going to make you cry, God help the next generation. You guys are fucked up. Seriously. Get your priorities straight. Tommy in it wouldn't respond and would later upload another video to TikTok where he jokingly says that he will show off his two YouTube play buttons to girls if or when they come around. That vegan teacher would once again stitch the video and would make sexual comments towards Tommy in it while knowing again he was 16 years old. I got two more golden play buttons today that I'm going to show to girls when they if they come around because they 
Because they do. Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons. But if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. Who telling a 16-year-old boy to whip out his genitals to girls? Last I checked, that's sexualizing a minor. Smile for the camera. Chris Hansen will see you now. Whoa. That vegan teacher would end up saying that she was able to speak to him because she was a teacher, which gave her the right to speak to Tommy in it, but not in a sexual manner. In January of 2021, at the beginning of the whoa, right whoa, to speak whoa. to vegan teacher sexualizing killing a sick buttons, you're gonna have to show these vegan girls don't want to see your buttons. But if you want them to play with your buttons, you're gonna have to show them. Hey y'all, this lady is like 200 years old talking to a 16 year old. That's tough. You're a child predator. She's tight. Bruh, she's the girl version of eating pee. That's crazy. And the pee is switched different for her. That's crazy. <laughs> Because she was a teacher, which gave her the right she to talk. speak to Tommy in it, but not in a sexual right manner. Right in January of 2021, at the beginning of the new year, that vegan teacher would state that coming out as vegan was more special than coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community. Someone would comment and say that it's way harder to come out as LGBTQ plus plus community. Someone would comment vegan was more special than coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community. Someone would comment and say that it's way harder to come out as LGBTQ plus than being vegan because veganism isn't a sexuality and it's a choice. Oh. Katie would double down on her beliefs and say that coming out as part of the LGBTQ community was selfish because you are only thinking about yourself and not others, whereas coming out as a vegan activist helps animals and wasn't selfish because they're trying to better the world, not just themselves. She would also state that if you are in a religion that treats you badly, then just simply change religions. You're absolutely wrong. Coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, as somebody who cares beyond themselves, is much more special than it is to come out as a member of the LGBTQ community. Coming out as a member of the LGBTQ community is an entirely selfish act. It's talking about you only. It's not talking about the things that you're going to do to better the world. Coming out as an animal rights activist is talking about the animals, others, not just you. In fact, it is a completely unselfish thing to do. Yes, I'm not saying it's easy in different societies, different religious backgrounds, but if you're in a religion that treats you badly, then just change religions. We've been over this before. But look at my comment section. Think of how terribly vegan animal rights activists are treated. Not just me, all of them. Do better. Be kind to those who are being kind. Be vegan. Later on, Katie would start to beef with Gordon Ramsay, calling him out for eating meat. I wanted to highlight this beef specifically with Gordon Ramsay because he would stitch her video and call her a vegan donut, which was a highlight in making this video. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share their song. And if you oh, I actually seen this. I actually seen this before. Call me a donut. It's fine. Vegan donut. Your vegan from now on. Whoa. I didn't remember that. Hey, yo. This would eventually lead to a diss track on Gordon Ramsay that was absolutely awful. Please, I recommend do not watch it. But throughout the diss track, she would compare animal abuse to the Holocaust. In March of 2021, that vegan teacher would upload this video on her YouTube account. This video would show the N-word written out as if it was a poem, and each letter in the word had a separate meaning. This was her attempt at justifying why she should be able to say the N-word, focusing on the statement, ban cruelty, not words. Just listen to this video and tell me if you understand what she's trying to say right here. In society. Is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the n-word, but then people ban even saying the n-word, then the n-word becomes the x n-word, the n-word that used to be the other n-word, and it never ends. It just goes on and on and on. I just don't understand the entitlement that she feels towards saying whatever she wants. This is a word that oppressed a whole race for centuries, not just a word that can be said without any hate, because this word was formed on hate. Eventually, this controversy, plus her sexual remark towards Tommy in it, would see her get banned off of TikTok. Her main account would see itself reach 1.7 million followers, but the majority of her followers were there just to roast her and watch her eventual downfall. That vegan teacher would take the Keemstar route and would start what is outplay? You play and it records. You can choose exactly what you want it to record, whether it kills.
start to try to make multiple new accounts, but those accounts would get banned extremely quickly. She would try to use VPNs, but they would also only last a short amount of time before she was banned once again. That vegan teacher would eventually give up on TikTok as her main platform and would start to upload more frequently on YouTube. Now throughout this time, Katie would mention that she had her dog Bella on a 100% vegan diet that she forced onto the dog. This would cause controversy once again because technically, Katie was abusing her dog. In this article by Why Animals Do the... Why? What does dogs do to y'all people? Bruh, this is crazy. This lady is ridiculous. You're hurting your dog? Bro, dogs is the nicest people you can meet in this earth, dude. Oh my god. Thing titled Why Vegan Diets Will Kill Your Cat and Sicken Your Dog, they state that a dog on a vegan diet will survive but will rarely thrive, as their bodies are constantly on the edge of nutrient dep- Um, she's giving her dogs, or dogs and cats and just dogs, a vegan diet. whereas a meat-based diet easily provides all the essential nutrients they need to survive. A plant-based diet provides insufficient quantities of these nutrients, and often in forms that are particularly difficult for dogs to process. Vegan dogs will be prone to B and D vitamin deficiencies and will be malnourished due to their physical inability to digest large quantities of plant matter. This was hypocritical of that vegan teacher to abuse her dog and neglect it from nutrients when her whole agenda is to treat animals equal to humans. This would start a hashtag save Bella the dog to go trending on Twitter and this would also start a petition to save Bella from Katie on change.org that has over 50,000 signatures as of this recording. Throughout the summertime of 2021 that has over 50,000 signatures as of this recording. Throughout the summertime of 2021 that vegan teacher would make comments about Darman and how he doesn't use his platform on YouTube for good because he doesn't have a single video educating vegan beliefs and animal abuse. Darman would apologize to Katie and promised that in the future he would add it to his videos. Wow. That same summer, Katie would also try and start controversy with Mr. Beast because he was eating a burger in one of his videos. She would also point out pretty much everything that Mr. Beast did wrong in his videos pertaining to eating meat. She would later go on to upload a diss track on Mr. Beast, which is pretty much the Gordon Ramsay diss track, just switching out Gordon Ramsay for Mr. Beast. But Mr. Beast would never respond. Obviously, he's off busy doing something else, and this controversy would ultimately die out. Now we get to recent times. A couple days after after September 11th, Katie would upload a video stating that 9-11 wasn't a huge deal because the people that died throughout that time were meat eaters that were killing animals. This was extremely insensitive what? towards the thousands of people that died on that day and the many people affected from that day. Just another example of Katie Karen trying to capitalize once again on another event. The issue I have with Katie is that she acts as if being vegan isn't a choice. She stated multiple times in different videos that we as humans weren't born to consume meat, which just isn't true. In the past, she has also made racist and homophobic remarks that continuously come up and she'll try and justify veganism like with her remarks towards the LGBTQ community. Katie Karen, aka that vegan teacher, is someone that puts her beliefs above everything else and targets these huge content creators because she knows that it will create buzz around veganism. Almost every single video on her page has the comments disabled and her dislikes turned off. That vegan teacher turned to insane tactics to get her point across and ended up exposing herself for being a nut job with a platform. And instead of promoting veganism, the right way, she resorted to making a fool out of herself and her beliefs because even if you were a vegetarian and you avoided meat, you still weren't good enough in Katie's eyes. Currently, Katie Karen still uploads on YouTube with her most recent video being uploaded on the 28th of November where she talked about Ben Shapiro. She would gain over 100,000 subscribers on her YouTube account throughout the time that she's been on YouTube, but nowhere near the amount of views that you would think she'd have. Katie Karen resorted to the worst way to promote her beliefs, leaving her without a platform on TikTok and also leaving her YouTube account damaged only receiving a fraction of the views she all right i'm pretty sure he, he's pretty much done talking uh i'm thinking about doing two or three episodes two or three videos posting them on youtube and making them private so i can post them later on pause real quick i'll be right back i'm trying to see something about that dog <laughs> yo i'm not extra sure if the dog's dead or not hopefully not but i didn't know she made her dog eat grass that came from the ground. 
Dude, nah, she's way worse than Nico Adekawa. But I think I want to do a reaction video with Nico Adekawa. And then do a reaction video to... I mean, do a tier list video. If I find a good enough tier list, that could be a good long video. I might just do just that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, so do it. Jimmy Jackson, see you guys next time. Peace.